All right, I just want to quickly talk about what you need to do to trigger the biochemical reaction to put your body into the physiological state to build the most amount of muscle. Now, if you want to build muscle, protein synthesis needs to be greater than protein breakdown, and you can achieve that in a deficit as long as protein is high or in a surplus, even if protein is low, but in both cases, the process will be much slower than optimal. To optimize growth, you want both a caloric surplus and a high amount of protein. And in this case, we're talking about 15 to 20 calories per pound of body weight per day. The leaner you are, the higher you can go, and 1.25 grams of protein per pound of body weight per day. Now, to help understand this, think about protein as the resources necessary to construct. Being in a caloric surplus and getting enough carbs will increase insulin and IGF-1, which increases nutrient uptake by the muscles to use all that protein that you're getting. And then training, along with a caloric surplus, both activate mTOR, which activates protein synthesis. If calories are too low, IGF-1 will be lower, and if IGF-1 is low, you're going to be less anabolic. If calories and carbs are both low, then insulin and IGF-1 will both be lower, which decreases your potential to build muscle. And if you're in a deficit, it's harder to activate mTOR, and if the deficit is too great, you'll actually activate AMPK, which inhibits mTOR, which is why you can't really build muscle naturally if you're in a deficit, even if protein is high.